Hello guys, I'm back. My name is Jefferson Costa. I'm a chemical process engineer with expertise in plant design. And today in the live session, in my in-process in interview, I will talk to Luis Carlos. He is a very, very good friend of mine and we met in the internet in 2018. And he accepted my challenge to talk about utilities. And because utilities is very, very important in plant design, you will understand why. And uh, Luis, thanks for accepting my invitation. And before we starting with the technical, and uh, please, and with my questions to you, please uh, talk a little bit about you. And guys, uh, it, there is a lot of, of time that Luis doesn't speak in English, so he is doing his best. So... Please be patient with him and also with me, of course, because I'm not an English native speaker also. So, Luis, uh, please give some words to the audience. And, and people, remember, it is very, very nice to know where are you from. So, I already have seen people from Brazil and I want to know where, where we, we impact lives, where we are able to... to to help people to be better chemical process engineers in plant design. So, Luis, it's up to you now. Hi, Jefferson. It's a pleasure for me to be with you and all your followers uh, during the session. Uh, I will try to, to pass some of my knowledge and the experience in the area of engineering projects, uh, especially uh, in utility projects. Uh, I'm a chemical engineering. I have a master's degree uh, in chemistry, in, in, especially in environment, envi environmental chemistry. And I, I have a post-graduation post in uh, health insurance uh, in projects uh, offshore and onshore projects. Uh, I have uh, a great experience in, in basic design and detailed design uh, of onshore and offshore units, especially working for Petrobras. Uh, I have a, a great experience with consultants and projects and environmental uh, issues. So I will try to, to pass some uh, knowledge and uh, experience for your followers now. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Luis. And Lu Luis has a, a, lot, a lot of titles and you will uh, discover and you will find out that he, he not only worked with, uh, in, for industry, but he also has some experience in the, acade in the academia. So he will share that with you us. But before talking about that, Luis, let, let us know how, how did you get your first job and how was the transition between being a, a graduate and a just graduate and an a employee in the chemical process engineering? Uh, Jefferson, uh, during my, my graduation, I had the opportunity uh, to work as a trainee in the petrochemical studies area in Petrobras. It was on uh, 2005, so uh, I finished my degree in chemical engineering uh, in 2005, and I, I uh, and I had no opportunities in, in view, uh, so I decided to start my master degree in chemistry with emphasis in environmental chemistry. Uh, at the end of 2005, uh, I was called to uh, an opportunity uh, in the same area that I, I worked before, Petrobras, uh, to work as a chemical engineer in the petrochemical technology area at Petrobras. I stayed there until 2012 when I decided to look for uh, new opportunities. So you went, you always finished your graduation and it is very common uh, today 
Uh, you do, that doesn't have any kind of, of offer or you don't have seen any kind of opportunity in the job market. Yeah. So you decided to get your master degree. Just continue studying and, and do your master degree, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And one, after that, you, you get your job in the, the Petrobras and, and since then you are working for the industry, okay. And okay. Luis, let's talk about utilities because it is the, the main the main subject of this this live session. And after that, I I would like to talk more about your career and give some tips to the to people that are following us uh, here today. And to start with the the main main subject of this this presentation what is utilities and if you have any presentation to show to us it's time to open that it will be very nice and while you do that let me tell you that we have people from saudi arabia following us here today and i have also seen people from brazil fabio melo tatiana araujo there is the Abdu from Saudi Arabia and Durapi. Durapi, I'm, I don't know where it is from. But, Luis, if you, okay. what is utility? And you can open your presentation, please. Okay. Uh, an industrial utility is an energy vector uh, or flow that you use it to on several uh, production lines. Uh, it may be a heat or cold, steam or electricity, uh, producing distribution, uh, consuming these utilities uh, in situ is a part of an industrial process. So we, uh, uh, we will talk today about uh, uh, oil and gas in industry especially, but we can find uh, these utilities in other processes other mm -hmm. chemical process. Uh, uh, operating and maintaining these uh, equipment, producing these utilities uh, is essential for the competitiveness of these industries. So I, I will try to share my presentation now. Let me know if it's okay. Okay. So uh, uh, the, the main theme of this uh, presentation will be size and design of utilities for chemical process engineer that uh, I think are the, the most, uh, the most uh, profession that are following you. Uh, my name is Luis Carlos Assunção, a chemical process engineer, environmental consultant. Uh, the, 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 the meaning of utilities, uh, we can say that uh, must be available in quality, quantity, and within the time required by industrial process. So uh, if you don't have these three uh, uh, main things, uh, you must have some problems with your process. The supply of these utilities, uh, uh, we can uh, say that there is uh, an, an area in all those industrial processes that we will talk about, uh, uh, has the responsibility to fully attend to the users in the required condition, requiring the management of the generation, acquisition, storage, and distribution of utilities in order to guarantee the regularity of supply to users within compatible costs. It must, uh, I, I can uh, say that it's very important that today that we have some uh, issues with uh, utilities prices, especially 
uh, natural gas and uh, some uh, petroleum derivatives, uh, we, we, we have to, to do some uh, calcul calculations to, to find the uh, ideal uh, process, the ideal uh, utility for your process. So uh, in the picture, you can find uh, a, a steam generation system uh, uh, and uh, at, at my right, uh, we can find a relation of full gas, a full energy savings and the, the per percentage of uh, excess air. So uh, all uh, depending on your uh, process, you will have to find the ideal uh, place to put your uh, utility uh, in, in quantity and quality for uh, your uh, needs. Okay. Uh, as an example of utility system, we have electric power, uh, compressed air generation and distribution, raw recovery water collection and distribution, potable water treatment distribution. Uh, we, we, we can think it's not important, but uh, when you think about uh, industrial area, you have uh, all the work that, that, that are there and they need to, to have access to potable water. Uh, detection, uh, alarm, and firefighting. Uh, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration system, systems. Fuel oil, storage and distribution. Full gas, storage and distribution. Water cooling and cooling. Water treatment, industrial fluid treatment dust collection and suppression, and oxygen generation distribution. There are, there are uh, other utilities that are not here, but uh, I think uh, there are these, these utilities are very important for any kind of industry. Uh, Luis, before, before we proceed with the presentation, let me discuss a little bit with you. So, you... Uh, your main uh, experience in the pet in the refineries, right? And when we talk yeah. about refineries, for let's get an example. So you are distillating the the petroleum, but to distillate the yeah. petroleum, we need to have utilities. For instance, the heat yeah. that we use in the column, right? So the utilities is something yeah. that is not part of the product, but uh, help us to get the product. Is that right? Yes, is that right? Uh, we uh, in uh, design, uh, size and design of these uh, projects, uh, we must say that we have uh, inside uh, uh, units, uh, off-site units. Uh, excuse me, on-site units, off-site units. Uh, the utility system uh, generally are the off-site units that uh, will uh, give the, the all the utilities that the main process need to uh, to do uh, what you expect for this project, this process. So uh, the, the example that you give, the distillation uh, that are one of the uh, uh, operations that we have in the refineries. Uh, we need uh, uh, the, the steam for uh, heat, all the 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 the, the, the boiler. uh, reboilers. Yeah, we need uh, electricity. We need uh, uh, compressed air uh, for uh, the uh, actuation of the valves, we will see uh, uh, later. Uh, we have a lot of utilities that uh, uh, we need to do that work. 
Yeah, and guys, uh, it is very common when we, for instance, let's suppose that you will, in that your, your company will install a polypropylene plant in some place or a hydrogen plant. So you go to the, to the licensor and ask for a project, he will give you a basic design and he will, he, the company that will provide the technology will, will tell you something like this to you. To produce the quantity of uh, uh, product that you need, uh, you must supply to me uh, electricity and uh, uh, 10 megawatts and kilo, kilowatts or something like that. You need to provide to me instrument air to move my, my control valves. You need to provide me uh, nitrogen to plug the lines or something like that. So the licensors works on the, the, main, the main process that is the on-site on that uh, Luis is telling us, but we need to provide the utilities because without the utilities, you are not able to start a, a electrical pump if, if you don't have the electricity. So we need to work in the off-site in order to provide that. And so, so there is a relationship between them and most often the licensors are not responsible for the, the off-site uh, off utilities. They, they only care about the main pro process and we process engineers that work in, in EPC, most often we need to worry about that, about the cooling water system, about the, the compressed air, about the water treatment and something like that that Luis will share with us here today. So, so Luis, Feel free to proceed. Very nice. Uh, Jeff, so in, uh, we, in different types of industry, we will uh, identify the importance of uh, these industrial utilities, mm -hmm. either by the, the, the steam that uh, we need for heating or by the cooling oil for thermal exchange, uh, as an example, as well as compressed air, to act pneumatic, pneumatic valves uh, that guarantee the control and the safety of the process. Uh, these are some uh, uh, importances of these uh, utilities. Uh, now I will talk about some of these utilities. Uh, uh, the electrical power system uh, facilities equipment and materials that allow the connection between the sources of electricity supply and the various loads of an industrial installation. So uh, in the picture, we can find the generation station that it, it, it will be outside your, your plant. Uh, you have the, the transmission uh, lines and uh, inside your plant, you must have a substation uh, step that will uh, uh, give your energy, uh, uh, the, the electrical power, in the voltage that you need to to uh, your equipment, your process. So we have this uh, main uh, uh, project for this. Uh, electrical power systems. Portable water treatment and distribution, uh, the, the execution of design of the system comprised from the supply of raw, uh, raw water treatment plant, storage and distribution and uh, of drinking water for using, uh, for human use. Uh, the drinking water service is essential to guarantee the health and quality of life of workers with an industrial environment. So we, 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 uh, I can uh, give an example that I, I have already worked. Uh, we had, uh, I, I will not say the, the name of the refiner of Petrobras, mm -hmm. but we have uh, a, a great problem with uh, this, uh, this uh, distribution of drinking water for the uh, for the workers that uh, that work in this refine, uh, so they they have some uh, uh, problems with your health, 
because of the quality of this water. So uh, we had to, to look for the, the, the design for the project uh, of this uh, uh, system. And we, 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 we had to uh, change some uh, treatments of this water to guarantee the quality of the water. Uh, another system we can uh, talk about is the cooling water and cooling system. Uh, in many industrial operations, it's necessary to cool equipment, machinery, products in production uh, or after they are ready. Uh, one of the most convenient to remove heat is the use of cooled water. So we have uh, a lot of uh, process and equipment that need uh, this uh, cooling water uh, available uh, to guarantee uh, the, the, the security of the, the process, to guarantee the quality of the products, to guarantee the reactions that are happening inside the equipment. So we have a lot of uh, uses of this cooling water. And, and guys, here the, the Luis is giving to us an, an overview to we yeah. get familiar with the, the utilities because there are many process engineers that finishing their graduation or are fresh engineers that doesn't understand what is uh, utilities. So this is our main object here. Eventually, in the future, we can get one specific subject and talk more about that. So it's not our purpose right now. In any case, if you have questions, please let us know in the chat. And if addressed to the subject, I may uh, uh, address to, to Luis, okay? So, for instance, in the, the cooling water systems, uh, we, during the design, we must uh, define or, or choose if it will, if you will use a, a cooling tower, if you can use a, a air cooler or a evaporative cooler, and this kind yeah. of decision depends on the characteristics of the project. So right now, the the Luis is telling us about the whole subject, the overview. And in the future, we can return if you like it and if people get interested. So, Luis, please continue. Another uh, utility system uh, that is very important for uh, industrial process is the full system uh, that, uh, that are facilities, equipment, and materials that allow the receipt, storage, and distribution of various uh, consumption points. Uh, foods are used where combustion is necessary and a part of any industrial process. So, uh, uh, as example, we can say mineral coal, liquid petroleum foods, natural gas, gas oil, hydrogen. So, that are the most common uh, foods that are used for uh, food systems in uh, Industries. In, in this, uh, in in this sorry, Luis. In this specific case, it, it's funny because if you are using the natural gas to produce something, it is the hot material and part of the on-site on-site, right? But if you are getting the yeah. the natural gas only to burn that and they have energy, it is utility, right? Yeah, yeah, it, there is this uh, this uh, difference, and uh, we we can have in the same uh, uh, industry, in the same plant, you can have uh, the natural gas doing the the, the two things uh, as a raw material and raw and as a utility. It's it's common. Uh, so in the picture, uh, I, I try to exemplify. Uh, I use a, a food system uh, with uh, we have the full gas uh, to a fire heater that will give the the energy uh, for uh, that that is necessary for the process and in this case a separation process uh, uh, I, I can see here a liquid hydrocarbon product so uh, we can think that it will is a, a refinery or 
or something like that. Uh, other important uh, system, uh, utility system is the steam generation distribution system. So uh, industrial uh, installation, steam systems are widely used in transportation by flow, large amounts of heat and energy between distant location to guarantee electrical energy and activate machine tools. Water vapor uh, su supplies all the other fluids when av available, uh, stability, low cost, high heat transport capacity, and safety. So uh, we, we will find the, the, the water vapor as a uh, raw material for this steam generation in a lot of uh, cases. Uh, in the picture, uh, I try to exemplify the, this system. We have a boiler drum. Uh, we have a, a, another utility for this uh, system that will be a full gas to start the, 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 the process. And we have uh, as a raw material water that will be uh, heated and vaporization uh, to, to give uh, the, this water vapor, vapor uh, as a utility for any uh, uh, applications in, inside your plant. plant. Uh, uh, it, this is uh, a very nice example that you did. If you look only up to the steam generation, steam generator, the water is the raw material. So if we, it, we can say that the, the water is part of the main, the main process. And in this specific case, the natural gas will be a utility to the steam generation, right? Yeah, you are right. And uh, uh, water will be used as uh, this raw material for this process because we have all these uh, uh, qualities, uh, mm -hmm. stability, low cost, high heat transport capacity, and safety that are very important inside your plant. Okay. Another uh, utility system uh, that I will present is compressed air generation distribution. So uh, we, we talked a, a little bit before, uh, system responsible for the generation distribution compressed, compressed air in the industrial plant by means of air compression, uh, responsible for capturing air for compression. Uh, so now we are talking about the equipment involved uh, facilities, equipment, and materials that allow the generation and distribution uh, of the various consumption points of the industrial installation. So we can uh, say that are part of this system. Uh, and I, I can say that compressed air is an important form of energy, which in different activities, productive units complement or substitute electrical energy with some advantage. So uh, I will not uh, uh, enter in the specification of this season. We can talk about that uh, later, but uh, it's an important system inside uh, industrial plants. In, the, in this specific, uh, in, the, in their system, let me add, uh, you have the, the uh, air compressor, and depending on the utility, the, depending on what you do with the air, it can have different specification. For instance, it's most yeah. often in yeah. the refinery, we have, we have the, the air service that is used to purge and to clean uh, machines and equipment or instrumentation. And yeah. we have the instrument air, that is our air used yeah. to actuate uh, pneumatic, uh, pneumatic instrumentation, control valves, or even some equipments that are pneumatic. So if your air is yeah. used to instrument air, the quality is different from the, from the, the service air. But your source can be the same, the same air compressor. So you need to, to evaluate that. 
and summing, summing up the, the flow and something like that, depression, evaluate, and that's, that's very, very nice. Very nice, Luis. Perfect, Jefferson. Uh, another system, uh, utility system, is the, the de detection alarm and firefighting system. Uh, this project covers fire detection, smoke, flame, thermal, um, among others, alarm, uh, signaling, and or audible, uh, and combat fire hydrants, foam, sprinklers, uh, the system consists in general of an alarm central, a detection panel, and alarm that's connect to a network of manual alarm uh, triggers interconnected with electronic detectors and combat system. So uh, uh, I, have, I, have, I had already worked in some projects of these systems, and uh, we, we, we have a lot of uh, specifications uh, for sprinklers, so you have to guarantee the uh, the flow of the water or the foam in, in the quantity of that is necessary to combat the the fire. The uh, so it's uh, we have to uh, calculate the area that is covered by the system, uh, and uh, in some cases, they are used in the uh, risk analysis that are uh, made for uh, in, in, for the projects. Uh, has up, uh, uh, we can say, another uh, uh, risk analysis uh, that are made in the system is very important to guarantee the the the, the security inside the plant. And, and Luis, in this in specific case, most uh, not uh, most of the the requirements is is legal requirement also, right? Because yeah. every location yeah. has a specific uh, concern about the firefighting issues, and if you install a plant in Brazil. In Rio de Janeiro, for instance, the local requirements for yeah. firefighting can be different if you install in São, in São Paulo. And it yeah. is very important to be familiar with the local requirements. And of course, that there are international standards and like NFPA, that's very nice to be, to be known. And in fact, it is American, but many countries get information from NFPA but it's it's very very important because if we are talking about if something wrong happens in the in the plant and we if you, we have a fire we need to extinguish that so that's why the regulations is very very hard to us about this kind of system right yeah it's the the, the first uh, step step that we will uh, try to combat the, the, the incident that it will happen in your plant. Uh, after that, we will uh, use another uh, steps of your... Uh, uh, it's related risk. to layer of protection, right, Lopa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have the, 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 the uh, different layers uh, of protection uh, of your process, and uh, it will, would be the first uh, layer. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, uh, the, the, the presentation, uh, I will talk a little bit about the size and design of these utilities. Né? Uh, I think it, it is an a interesting thing for the chemical engineers and uh, future chemical engineers that are watching us. So uh, the chemical uh, uh, engineer, uh, the, 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 the base uh, of the chemical engineer is the mass and energy balances. Uh, so to size and design this system, this, this uh, utility system, we will have to, to practice a lot of uh, mass and energy balances for uh, calculate to, to size in these uh, systems. Uh, as a... Uh, uh, generation uh, document for this, we have a lot of documents. 
like uh, 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 the descriptive, descriptive memorials, uh, uh, pen IDs, uh, process instrumentation diagrams. Uh, we have uh, some uh, documents that are specific, specific for uh, that system, like data sheets. Uh, some process will uh, buy from uh, some companies that uh, give all the the system uh, like a, bo a box, uh, so you have the all uh, the data sheet from the this company that for, uh, that give uh, the system, uh, and we uh, as tools that we can use. Uh, we can use even from uh, Excel or uh, some uh, softwares to design uh, inside some equipments. And uh, as an example, we can uh, say the high seas, Aspen high seas uh, that are used to uh, simulate some process and we can do uh, mass balances and energy balances inside these programs. You can uh, give it the, the requirements for your project and this uh, software will, will give us the, the answers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, let you, uh, as you said, uh, it's an overview from system utilities. Uh, we can talk later about specific systems uh, that we that we saw today. Uh, I would like to thank you. you no, 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 Luis, no, no, Luis. It, it seems that you are <laughs> finishing the the live session. It's Guys, no, no, it's I'm not, not finished finish. yet. <laughs> it's not finished yet. Don't listen to Luis right now. Please close your presentation <laughs> because we already we, we still have a lot of a lot of to talk to, and I will I will address some other questions about utilities to to Luis, and we we'll, we have some something to 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 talk. Okay. So Jefferson, first of first thing, you first you can share. You can share the, my contacts with your followers uh, later if he, they need they need some information that I I did not uh, expose in this presentation. So uh, I'm I'm here to help uh, as uh, you need. Okay, Luis Luis shared with me the PDF of this presentation. Can I share this document in the in process Telegram channel, Luis? So yeah, you can you can share. Okay, guys. So if you don't know yet, my Telegram channel in process it is where I share my day in the life as a chemical process engineer. So I will get this document that Luis uh, had had shown to us, and I will add to the in process Telegram channel members, and here they will be able to download that, and there you will find not only the presentation but also. Uh, how to contact Luis because it is everything it is there. So Luis, uh, I would like to to talk about uh, more about the the how to start the sizing of of the utilities because the the utilities, as my pair understand, is something that comes later of the main the main process, right? So first we define the needs. So, for instance, I needed to produce 5,000 tons per, per, per month of uh, hydrogen or polypropylene. And we go to the, the licensor and ask a quotation. And with the quotation, we have a basic engineering project of the, the main process. And from this point that we start in talking about utilities. Do you agree of that, or do you have uh, what you can you can share with us in, uh, uh, about the moment that we start talking about the utilities? 
uh, the, we will talk uh, start talking about utilities uh, uh, when we we notice that we will have to 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 uh, to have some uh, some issues for uh, your process go on uh, like a heat for uh, give the the thermal uh, heat that is necessary to convert one raw material in a, a, a product or a sub product uh, or the the cooling water for give the 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 exchange uh, thermal exchange for guarantee the 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 temperature of the 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 heat exchanger heat exchanger for example you you have to 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 have a a, a fire fighting system for your plant if you uh, you you don't we 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 don't uh, want to have an incident but incidents happens so we, we have to guarantee the the integrity of your plant and the all the works that are there so we have to to uh, to give a, a lot of uh, issues for uh, this process so uh, chemical process engineer uh, uh, we will start now with the basic principles of uh, principles of the chemical engineering that uh, like like uh, as i said uh, mass and energy balance uh, that you guarantee the supply in the quantity uh, and in the condition the the process condition for the the process uh, you uh, we have to consider uh, the char uh, characteristics, characteristics of the utilities that will receive this utility. Uh, so the interaction with the disciplines, uh, especially mechanical and piping studies, uh, we will have a lot of uh, interactions with them. Uh, uh, of the calculation of the line flexibility as an exa uh, example, or uh, for optim optimization, uh, routing, uh, aligning routing uh, as a part of action of chemical engineering in, in this process. Né? Uh, nice. You you talk another about another subject that I would like to talk to you. In the in the main process, usually we have at 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 the beginning the heating material balance that you said to us. And most often we use process simulators to get the results to heat material balance. We have a pipe instrumentation diagram, process flow diagram, a process, a process data sheet in the specification data sheet for equipments, for instrumentation, yeah. for control valves, yeah. PSVs, and etc. And in the utilities, it's almost the same, right? We have the same kind of documentation that we need to develop. Yeah, you are right. Uh, you have the same documentation. Uh, you have uh, a lot of uh, uh, documents that will give some information for for the 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 detailing uh, detailing uh, engineering and uh, uh, operation of the system that will be uh, uh, consulting all, all the time. Luis, I I have here people from, from India, uh, nice, very nice people from India period. We have people from, I have seen, I think, some, someone from Uruguay, Paraguay, and thanks to uh, nice. Axel. Axel, it's the first time that I saw Paraguay at the chat, very nice. And I have a question from Ak Akshay Patil, he is a, a, a student of mine in my training program, and he asking, uh, hello, sir. Generally, how many layers of protection uh, a, a process have? Would you like to answer that, Luis? Yeah, we, I can. I can uh, give you an overview. Uh, we, we have uh, uh, depend on on the process. We, we can have uh, uh, a lot of uh, layers, but uh, generally we have three or four layers. Uh, the the first step, uh, the first layer, you would be the the, the, the system, the, the utility system that will combat the, the incident in the plant. We have uh, uh, some, uh, some another uh, 
layer that will be the the all the the uh, needs that you have to to give uh, uh, if the incident occurs uh, you have to uh, uh, to maintain this this incident inside your plant you you do not uh, mean you don't uh, want that it uh, it can uh, affect uh, the neighborhood, right? Yeah, yeah. So you, you can have a, a, a major uh, incident. So, uh, and uh, it will uh, uh, go on, on on other layers uh, to guarantee the integrity of the plant and the all the, the people that are inside the plant and offside the plant. And Akshay, that is a, a very, very nice subject that deserves a yeah. specific uh, live session for that. But let me tell you that Luis is talking about the, the, the layers of protection after the, the event occurred. So we have yeah. others and you, you can get a detailed explanation about this in the pipe instrumentation course. So there I give from the design issues up to the, the neighborhood uh, response. So if you go to the, the model, to the course, pipe instrumentation course, you can, can, get, uh, you can have more, more, more answers about that, right? The, uh, we, we will not go over more about this because this is for the main subject is the, the utility system and not the layers of protection. But thank you, thank you a lot for your participation. Mm -hmm. And Luis, I would like to talk about your academia or academy experience because you said to us that uh, after you finish your graduation or your chemical engineering course, you start a master. And you started a master because you haven't, haven't seen any job opportunities available. So, okay, let's, let's start with that. Why you decide to do a master and not stop, stop uh, studying, for instance, and wait for, for getting a job? During my, my graduation in chemical engineering, I worked uh, on several uh, research projects, uh, which made me interested in academic area, uh, as I mentioned early, I graduated and had no job uh, opportunities in view, so I decided to continue with my master's degree uh, as, as a way to improve my curriculum and open opportunities in this area, academic area, and uh, it worked. <laughs> and more and more, I, f I fell uh, in, in love with uh, the academic area and now I'm uh, even looking for new opportunities to teach again. I, I had, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, I had some, uh, uh, some opportunity in this area. My, my last uh, opportunity was uh, working as a teacher in uh, graduation and post-graduation course. Okay, okay, so, Luis. So uh, let, me, let me pause you. <laughs> Sorry, you let's just do a, a, a chronology to let people uh, uh, get familiar with your career. So you finish the graduation, you start your master degree, but once you finish your master, you went to industry or you start in the, uh, uh, as a teacher. When I, I sorry, uh, when I, I finish my uh, graduation, when you finish your master, you get a job I'm in the degree. industry, or you go, or, or you went to to be a teacher. No, I, I, I when I finish my master degree, I, I, I returned to the the, the industrial uh, projects, and when I worked uh, until. 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, uh, I since uh, 2013, I, I, I had some opportunities uh, teaching, uh, but uh, it uh, was not my uh, first, my 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 main uh, job 
which was a secondary job. And in 2018, uh, I had the opportunity to, to teach uh, as a teacher in a graduation and post-graduation courses, uh, uh, engineering, uh, chemical engineering, uh, production engineering. Uh, I had worked as a teach, uh, teacher in a post-graduation course uh, in uh, 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 security process. Uh, uh, it's a very interesting course that uh, in Brazil we have uh, a few a few courses in this area. Uh, I think it's a, a issue that must be uh, changed. I don't know uh, in the, the countries of the, the followers that are here now, but in Brazil we have this issue. And I think it... Uh, oh, guys, and, and sorry, uh, you are seeing me interrupt uh, Luis sometimes. And I feel comfortable doing that because we are great, great friends, right? I'm not, yeah. I'm, I'm not, in my point of view, I'm not, in, uh, not being rude with Luis, okay? Uh, it, no. it is the way that we talk to, so I, I feel very comfortable talking to Luis here. And, and Luis, if I'm stopping you too much, please let, just let me know, right? Because uh, uh, I, I don't want to be rude with you, okay? So oh, sorry, sorry in okay. advance. And, okay, and, it's no problem. And so you start, you you had a, a period as uh, let's say full time in industry, and after that you have a full time in in academy, being a teacher, and now you returned you returned to the industry, right? Right, it's right. Okay, so what this time in academia uh, helps you doing your job today? There is any uh, anything that you say that uh, once I was a teacher, now it's easier to me to do this or not, or, or there is no relationship. And when we we finish the, the graduation or and the, the post graduation, and we go to the, the, the your uh, our jobs. Uh, uh, independent of the, the job, we, 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 we uh, generally for, forget some uh, uh, issues that we, we see in, the, uh, in, the, in our formation. So uh, my experience in academic area uh, were very important to me to, uh, uh, how can I say, uh, to uh, to, to put these concepts uh, uh, more... Uh, to keep you reminding uh, them. Yeah, yeah. So now that I'm, I'm working in the, the designing, uh, project designing of these systems, uh, industrial uh, systems, uh, so uh, it's, it's much easier for me to, to do some uh, jobs that uh, these, these topics are uh, very clear to me, uh, and we uh, we generally we 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 have a a, a a a distance of this when we go to the to the work to the job. It, it, it's very nice what you said because one of the the, the first thing that Vijay Sarat says about being a, 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 a true or uh, to become a chemical process engineer is about fundamentals and as you was a teacher you work it a lot with fundamentals right so that yes, yes. it's easier to you to do plant design because of that yes yes it's very important to me and uh, another thing that I I, 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 I learned uh, with this experience is that we we, we can not stop uh, uh, study so we have to uh, go on studying during our uh, professional life. Okay. And, and you already invited me to your Instagram channel where we had a conversation yeah. related to plan design. And guys, it is available in my YouTube channel. You can find it in videos. 
but it was in Portuguese because the, yeah. the work that Luis do in the internet is in Portuguese. My work in the internet is in English. So that's why I'm very, very proud of Luis talking here with us because it's not uh, uh, usual to, to him to be talking live sessions in English. And I know how hard it is at the first time. So Luis, thanks a lot about that. And please share with the guys that are here uh, what uh, you do in the internet and what your, your purpose and what kind of information do you think that they will find following you in the social media? Thank you, Jefferson. Uh, currently, I have an, an Instagram, uh, as you said. Uh, Angie, uh, you can uh, give the information. Uh, it's in the last uh, picture of my presentation, uh, where I publish materials uh, related to the chemical engineer uh, graduation and professional performance. Uh, as well as consulting in project area and environmental area. That are some areas that I, uh, I, I worked before. Unfortunately, uh, until now, all the material, as you, as you said, are generated uh, in Portuguese. But I have been following uh, your work, <laughs> Jefferson, and uh, cre uh, creating a content in English, and uh, that has encouraged me to do the same. So I, I'm thinking about that uh, to uh, start uh, creating uh, content in English, uh, the content that I uh, uh, published today in Portuguese to put in English for all uh, and chemical engineers and future chemical engineers that we, we have. Uh, in addition, uh, uh, anyone who wants to know uh, a little more about my training and professional perform performance, uh, you can follow me on LinkedIn, uh, that uh, the, the, the website is in the last picture of the presentation where I have published articles related to these areas that that I said before. Luis, I shared with the our followers your your Instagram and also your LinkedIn. So thank you. They will find not only the presentation but also in the chat if he, they want to connect with you and I have a question from Brazil to you. And this question is from Fabio Melo. Uh, Luiz, what is the big challenge of Brazilian graduates study in this oil and gas cr crisis? Do you have any any yeah, I, point of view about that? Yeah, I, I think the, the the great challenge in this in this moment, now, I, I think it's not only for Brazilian uh, it's, 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 uh, students, but uh, for all the the, the future chemical engineers that are trying to finish the graduation course is to, uh, we have a, a lot of information uh, uh, in the internet and you have to uh, filter that and use uh, to uh, uh, improve uh, your formation. Uh, so I think this moment is an ideal moment to do some course like your course that you give. Uh, I think it's very important for the, the, the formation of the, the, the professional, the, the future chemical engineering. Uh, but we have, uh, uh, as I said, a lot of information uh, available and you have to filter in use uh, the, as a, the better way uh, to 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 have uh, 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 something that will uh, improve your formation. Luis, uh, it we are talking almost one hour. Thanks a lot. I know that you have a family to take care of, 
and yeah it 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 was i in my point of view it was the best place to you start your first english content with people so thanks a lot for giving me that honor to be with you here today and please if you have any kind of uh, final message uh your last words to the audience please let's let let us know in order that you can go to your family and have a great saturday thanks a lot my friend first of all i would like to thank you jefferson for the invitation uh, yes uh, of course uh, for those who, who wish to start a career in chemical engineering area uh, i say that in addition to basic skills uh, technical knowledge, uh, easy interpersonal uh, relationships, uh, resolving crisis uh, situations that will appear during your jobs. Uh, you must uh, know uh, that uh, the knowledge that we get from these uh, contact networks, as uh, Jefferson have, né? in Telegram, that he gives a lot of information. We have some people that uh, uh, give, uh, create, uh, that are uh, always uh, generating uh, information on their uh, websites. So you, you, you have uh, to know that it's very important for your formation. Uh, participate of technical discussions forums are very important uh, either, uh, and never stop studying. Uh, I think uh, keeping up to date is a session for uh, your uh, formation. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, and Jefferson. Thank you, Tatiana, for lending me your husband for some minutes, and see you soon, Luis. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Thank you.